In the early days, there lived a good old couple named Hannah Saik Gigi and O Ba San. All their lives long, they had been honest and hardworking but they had always been poor. Now, in their old age, it was all they could do to make both ends meet, the poor old creatures. But they did not complain, not a bit of it. They were merry as the day is long. One day, while tending their modest garden, Hannah Saik Gigi noticed something peculiar. Underneath the gnarled plum tree, he found a tiny sake cup. But this was no ordinary cup, it sparkled like moonlight on Duke his petals. Hannah Saik Gigi, being a man of discerning taste, decided to take it home. That night, he dreamt of the plum tree. Its branches whispered secrets, and the sake cup glowed brighter. Hana sake Gigi, the tree murmured, fill me with sake, and I shall grant you a boon. Hana sake Gigi woke up, rubbing his eyes. Boon? What kind of midlife crisis nonsense is this? But curiosity got the better of him. He poured sake into the cup, and lo and behold, the plum tree blossomed. Not just any blossoms, these were the most exquisite, Instagram-worthy blooms the village had ever seen. Daimyo himself came to admire them, and Hannah Saik Gigi received gifts of plenty. Word spread, and soon everyone wanted a piece of the magic. The envious neighbor, Guro, approached Hannah Saik Gigi. Lend me the sake cup, Guro demanded. I'll make my persimmon tree bear gold coins. Hannah Saik Gigi squinted at Goro's receding hairline. Gold coins? More like fool's errands. But fine, take the cup. Goro filled the cup with sake, but his persimmon tree yielded only overripe fruit. Furious, he smashed the cup and blamed it on a squirrel. Undeterred, Hannah Saik Gigi had another dream. The plum tree spoke again. Take my ashes, it said, and sprinkled them on the cherry trees near the daimyo's castle. So, Hannah Saik Gigi collected the ashes, and with Oba San's encouragement, she was a wise woman who knew the value of a good sake cup. He sprinkled them on the cherry trees. The blossoms burst forth, pink and fragrant. The daimyo himself danced a jig, and Hannah Saik Gigi received even more gifts, a lifetime supply of rice crackers and a coupon for a hot spring bath. Guro, ever the copycat, tried the same. But the ashes blew into the daimyo's eyes, and he threw Guro into prison. When Guro was released, the village shunned him. His wicked ways had no place in a world of blooming trees and sake cups. And so, Hannah Saik Gigi spent his days tending to the plum tree, sipping sake, and reminiscing about his wild youth. Oh Ba San joined him, and they laughed until their wrinkles hurt. As for the plum tree, it whispered, age is just a number, my friend.
keep the sake flowing, and life will blossom. And that, my friends, is the tale of Hannah Saik Gigi, the midlife blossom whisperer, where wisdom, humor, and a dash of sake create magic beyond measure.